all right guys this is so weird for a lot of people like i get so excited about getting a new baby but i get equally excited about getting a new kit um this one is pretty special to me i don't want to talk too much before the box opening because i don't know what to expect really so i don't want to over talk it so i'm going to get right into it and um Everybody that's been following me should probably kind of have an idea of like, I don't know, like how, you know, I've been like stalking this kit for a while now since it was in play. And then um, so many things happened and I wasn't able to get it. Because every time one came available, I had either just bought a baby or something personal was going on in my life um so i was really excited about this opportunity to have this one to purchase this one um all right so i'm going to show you guys inside the box before i pull out the oh i just i guess i'll just pull it out i should have taken a picture where is my phone actually so I can take a picture for maybe Instagram or whatever. So uh, I pulled up Instagram and I was like, let me take a picture. So let me do that. All right. And so, all right, so let me get it out. I'm like, so don't worry. It's okay if I slide it out this way. <laughs> all right, I can get rid of this box. All right, so that's cute, and it has a little seal. Ah, the seal actually says some color studio too on there. <laughs> that's cute, I'll put it there. All right, I've been so anxious about it because I'm curious, I've been guessing like what size she is because, you know, people, I've said this before on my, my channel, um, people say like, inches and like that's supposed to really tell you something but inches don't always like tell the full story so um you know two babies can be 14 inches and be very different oh my god I'm scared. she's already like right at the top <laughs> oh she got a cute little heaven oh my goodness oh this is a little like a little, uh, what you call it? Diaper cloth or cover or blankie. Oh, she always send the color that she poured it in. Um, in case you need to do like any type of repairs or anything, which is always pretty cool. I haven't had to use it yet, but you just never know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. All right, so she's actually, believe it or not, she's actually the size I thought she was going to be. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I get out, I want to get out. I want to get out. <laughs> okay. Okay, so she got a COA. And it's open edition, but it's a numbered edition. So, so she has her little number, her COA. So, I'm going to... Put that away and <laughs> oh my gosh she come with a little plastic look at this this is so cute like she has this and she cause she got the little <laughs> little binky and the plastic clip oh my gosh okay so you know we're gonna have to I'm gonna move this box so I'm gonna put her stuff in there all her stuff in there put her mix in there now now I'm gonna have to strip her down so I can see see her she feels soft though, even though she she does have armatures in both her legs and in her arms. And I know that that will make them like less floppy, but I rather that than I was more concerned about posing than I was. I haven't felt she got a squishy tummy too. She's supposed to have a, a squishy belly. And I, I, I want to feel that, but I want to save that till I get her undressed, undressed. Because I want to see, see the whole light sculpt. So, this whole outfit is so cute. 
I think this outfit, I could be wrong. I want to say this outfit was made by Reggie Ann, but I'm not sure. Oh, I forgot. I got to keep her diaper on. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It says happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm going to play with her armatures and everything. Like when I get her fully undressed. Because I really want to look her over. Also guys. Um, if you guys follow Silicone Studio on Facebook. You guys would have seen this particular one. Where she did a lot of seam work with her. Um, on camera for everybody to see how she does it she showed how when she put the armatures in her um in her arms and her legs um this kit don't always come with armatures um it just so happened that she had was working on one and it was good for her she was yeah so she was already working on one and it was in her store and I was like oh oh my gosh look at this neck <laughs> So her head is like super, like so wobbly. I love, um, so she's sculpted by Jennifer Price, Sussman Price. Um, she's from Silicone Studio and she, I love their pour. Like I love the color. I love the texture of their silicone. Um, it's very, very nice. Um, this is like my, it's like a tie between her and Claire Teller silicone uh, as far as the color of the pour of how I like pouring. Oh my god, the armature feels so nice actually. Um, she was saying in the video she doesn't like to put the armatures in her because she's so little. <laughs> but I love it. Or oh, her mouth is so wide open and she has like a little tonguey in there and a little top gum. It's so cute. Her head is a good, good size. And um, one of the things that I'm getting a little jittery, um, I've been trying not to get too get emotional because y'all know I'd be emotional. Um, one of the things about this sculpt face that got me is that I have a picture of my grandbaby when she was born and she was only 29 weeks when they were born, the twins. And I think it was the angel baby picture that I have, but her mouth, she had the same little mouth and face like this um in that photo and of course i don't want to share it because her mom i don't you know i don't think her mom wants those pictures published um but she was saying about the armatures moving like you move one side i actually like that because with role play i can like make it look like i could be moving this side in the video and it'll look like you know or do this and it'll, it can make it look like she's moving on her own so that's one of the reasons I really like it. But I like it also because she could pose better with them going like this. I don't know if you guys, oh my gosh, I should zoom in so you guys can see better. But she's actually really a good size. See, this is what I'm saying. She's 14 inches, but my last baby was supposed to be 14 inches, which was Jasper the birdie scope. And he was like much smaller. Like in his head is like way smaller than this. So... All right, I want to fill this jelly belly, so I'm going to try. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. That's the real jelly belly. I had somebody tell me that a baby had a jelly belly, but it when I felt it, it didn't really feel like the jelly belly. Yeah, this is actually the jelly belly like. Okay. Yeah, this is the real one. Okay. Yeah. Yep, it's almost. Yeah. All right, so let me see if, if I push her. So if I sit her forward, her little belly will protrude forward because of the belly. <laughs> She's very, very soft. But, you know, like I said, because she has the armatures, it's going to, uh, that's her little belly. But because she has the armatures, it's going to, ooh, oh, 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 oh. I was like, that little head fell back. Um, it's going to make her not, her arms and legs not flop all over the place. But you see how squishy that belly is. Um, but yeah, for all the poking and probbing that had to be done with her. Let me look at, look her over really quickly. 
Um, yeah. Yep, she's really nice. So with silicone, when you get silicone sometimes, you, the thing about silicone sometimes you see like little things here and there. You might see like, oh, uh, and it's like, if you never had silicone before, like a, a silicone or a blank kit, you might be like, oh, what's this? What's that? Um, and it's really nothing. Uh, as you paint, you don't, none of that stuff shows. But the thing about, um, the thing that I love, love about, uh, silicone studio silicone port is that they're usually very, very smooth. And this one is no different than the rest that I've had, but they're usually very smooth. And also, <laughs> this is why I love you, girl. This is why I love you. And they're also, um, the color is really nice. And their, their seams are, are beautiful. They're like not obvious. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, like I don't want to even put her on the table to paint her. Like I'm ready to paint her, but then I'm not ready to paint her. Like I don't want to like have to like let her, you know, like I don't want to stop. Let me see if I got this. I don't think I... I think I put that romper up. Dang it. I had a little romper that I was like, oh, I bet she's going to be able to fit that. Um, but I think that I put it away. I think I did. Oh, well. Um, we'll see it another time. Let me see where we're at on timing because I don't want to. Oh, my God. Look at that. She's going to pose. So look at so nice and the little back of her back is like wrinkling by her little bum bum <laughs> oh my god this is why i wanted the armatures she's so cute but i think if someone get this baby without the armatures like i actually think i want another one i may get it well it depends on what she puts in her store so if you go to siliconestudio.com she'll put certain ones in the store as she poured them um, sometimes they're on demand, but it shall tell you what features they'll have. I, I don't know, like I might definitely with, now that I see her in person now, I think I can like really do one with like no armatures. Um, just for the jiggly, totally jiggly factor. But I am so happy that I did get armatures in this one. But I might have to have me a second one. <laughs> oh my gosh, like I get the boy. <laughs> Look at her. Oh my goodness. Like she's going to be so fun. Like you just, and these armatures actually move pretty smooth. I'm just doing this because I got to get used to them. So, but yeah, so she has really nice ears. I don't know if you guys can see that. And they're deep inside too. <laughs> um, let's see. So she has really nice ears. And her mouth is so deep. Like, look at this. So she's going to be able to take a full pacifier easy. She has a realistic girl bit, which is great. Um... I'm going to kind of cover it up a little bit. Uh, she has, so she has a little fist. So soft. She's so soft. Um, nice fist. Nice nail bed on the fist. And pretty nice nail bed on the fingers here. So that's a nice hand. And there's, those fingers are kind of separate. I love the the pour because it's like it's not translucent it's not like super thick I love her little belly oh my god I can't wait oh guys I can't lie <laughs> oh my gosh like she's so sweet you're so sweet mama look at you she was a portrait of uh I think it's Kathy Eklund 
real child. Um, I'm not going to paint her. Like I said, I'm not going to, even though she looks like my grandbaby did when she was like first born and they were super tiny before she filled out. Um, I'm not going to paint her in the skin tone. I don't think because I want her to be a really AA baby. Well, my grandbabies are definitely black, but they were like really light in that moment. So, um, I want them, I want her to have a little bit more color than that. I'm excited. Okay. I'm going to go. I'll be back. I got to see if she fits this little romper that I have. So I think she might be able to fit some of the stuff that I have her. She has good sized feet. So that's cute. So I have some little booties, I think, and I have some little, a little bit of clothes here. I think she might can fit. So I'm really excited. I'm so excited. I'm so happy with her. Like she's, she's beautiful. She's really beautiful. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm so excited. I, y'all don't know. I'm waiting for her for so long. I'm so happy to have her like. She's such a special one. This one really means a lot to me. I'm so glad I was able to buy her. Like, seriously. Look at that. Okay, later.